Bullies of Reddit, why were you a bully in school? Don't forget, some of them are still bullies today unfortunately. Ran into a bully from my HS a while back, and 18 years later, he's still a bully. Facebook has proven to me that my old bullies are still total buttholes. A few have found Jesus and think that posting Bible quotes means that they no longer need to remember throwing garbage and insults. So I just recently found out that a kid who I thought my group of friends was friends with, seriously, we hung out sometimes, went to each other's graduation parties, sometimes ate lunch together, were partners for school projects, chatted in the halls, fought of us as bullies to him, the catalyst event that we saw as him becoming our friend, he saw as bullying, basically, we noticed one day that he kind of looked like vanilla ice, on the same day he was wearing a rice t-shirt with a zip up hoodie, so it actually looked as if his shirt said ice, which we thought was awesome, and we thought it was awesome and made kind of a big deal about telling him and sometimes referred to him as ice the rest of the time we knew him, though certainly not every time we saw him or anything. I guess I can now see how he might not have appreciated the attention and not known how to tell us that, but we honestly never, never realized how he felt. I'm still trying to figure out how to apologize. We never see him anymore and basically lost contact after he went to college. I don't have access to it right now, but I remember reading a social science study that was organized around how people rallied together for causes, or what got them kind of up in arms. They gave people positive and negative things to respond to either individually or in groups, and the opportunity to take action. It basically showed me why the world is so hateful. When there was something that they could support positively, people cared very little. They didn't do much to support it, and they were not motivated to rally together. When there was something they could be against, something they could hate, they were crazy motivated to talk about it, do things about it, spread the word and group together against it. This kind of group motivation is really powerful. If one person can say this guy sucks, let's be jerks to him for some kind of reason that I say, they're more likely to have people be likier than if they were being kind to someone, or developing healthy friendships. I'm sure that instant gratification and group of followers gives a big confidence boost for the initial bully, and when there are others they're generally just pulled along for the ride because of how our brains work. Please find it as soon as possible, I'd be really interested to read that. At home my parents were constantly fighting, instead of learning friendship and love, I learned anger and resentment, I brought that to school with me, since I was bigger than average I could shove the other kids around and there wasn't much they could do about it, I enjoyed it, it was a sadistic power trip, when you're big for your age as a child it's a huge advantage, I think as you get into adulthood the playing field evens out a bit more, but back then I could do whatever I wanted and nobody short of an adult could stop me. Power like that goes to your head. Doubly so when you're just a kid. I was little and it was just fun. And I knew if I was picking on someone I wasn't going to be the next guy people decided to pick on. I wasn't a hardcore bully though. So I'm sure other people have more reasoning. But for the short time I spent doing it there wasn't much reason. I was secretly gay. Totally insecure about it. Had a sharp sense of humor and found that if I used it preemptively against others, they didn't have time to examine me or my insecurities. That sounds like the guy who used to call me and my nerd friends F all the time and generally make our lives hack in middle school. We looked him up on Facebook recently and, yup, he is now flamboyantly gay these days. As someone who was bullied from time to time, maybe I could shed some light. When I was about 5-6 there was this kid named Anto in our school. Now Anto was a big guy, for a 6 year old anyway. So Anto used to play with me. This consisted of us playing wrestling. Skinny little me versus big ol Anto. I never used to agree to it but he would force me and beat the living crap out of me by sitting on me. Punching me. Pulling my hair. You name it. Throughout elementary school I would try to distance myself from him. Fast forward to senior year of high school. Anto and I get assigned to the same class. We both started talking a bit and he had totally changed. After he opened up a bit I asked him about how he used to bully me and he said he never really realized what he did was wrong. He thought it was all fine. Only now after thinking back on it did he realize he had been bullying me. Now Anto and I take college classes together and we get along pretty good. When he's not looking, knife him, you'll be even. 
I honestly never realized how mean I was in school until years later. I wanted people to think I was funny. I never meant to hurt the feelings of those I bullied. I thought they all took it as a great joke. A few times, when my friends pointed out how mean I was being, I stopped. Maybe this isn't true of all bullies, but man, I'm glad people pointed my bullying out to me. As a spokesman for all the clueless bullies, we're sorry. This reminds me of that 30 Rock episode where Lemon is going to her reunion. She thinks everyone ignored her because she was just a nerd, but it turns out she always told those mean jokes and she was actually a huge bully, without being aware of it at all. I was one of these bullies who said nasty things about people. I'd always try and do it in a funny way, but some of the stuff I said was downright horrible. Didn't realize quite how vile I was until I was older, and looking back at how I acted just makes me cringe hard. I suppose the main reason I did it was a lack of self-confidence. I'd be mean to other people to deflect the attention from myself, because I always saw myself as a pretty big target for other bullies. It's sad but true. I was a coward and a horrible pig. But I like to think I'm better now. I try and stick up for the underdogs and hope they have my back too. Never thought of it as bullying. Never thought I was a bully. Having been at both sides of the same sort of situation, I should have seen it in myself. I was young and arrogant. I was a very, very angry little girl. My older sister and mother were mean, critical women. Then when I went to school, I was also bullied often myself. I just recycled it onto other kids with all the imaginative cruelty I could muster. I used them as practice and eventually got good enough to fight back against my own bullies. The day I stopped picking on other people was the day I learned I could fend for myself. A kid tried to pour a carton of milk on me, and I grabbed it and threw it back in his face. I'll never know how much I might have hurt the kids I redirected my anger onto, though I have a pretty good idea, and it isn't knowledge I enjoy living with. But I'm so sorry. Reddit. I have to begin by saying I am really, really, really goddamn sorry. In preschool, I punched a girl in the stomach when we were collecting our coats and shoes because she asked politely to play with me and my friend. She was crying, but I didn't feel all that much remorse. She was a gypsy, and I had just been put into the public system while listening to my dad rave about how the gypsies are ruining our country. I see her when I visit my hometown. And there are not enough words to express the shame I feel when I have to look down because I can't let my eyes meet hers. Freaking heck. Dad. Blaming you for this one. Why does everyone feel inclined to comment on how they weren't a bully and that they were some kind of hero? I would like to hear from the people the question was addressed to please. Probably because most people don't like to doubt themselves as in butthole. It was a way to distract everyone from the fact that I was gay. At the time I thought I was just having fun, but now I know I didn't want anyone to realize I never had a girlfriend, never had dates and couldn't stop staring at the guys during basketball wrestling football track practice. I didn't bully anyone but I never had a girlfriend or a date or anything until after high school. I just wasn't attractive then and had self esteem issues. To this day, I believe people think I am gay because of that high school time. I was a pretty sociopathic mother in middle school. I remember I picked on one kid, and one kid only. Let's call him Robert. This kid would always flip the frick out in the most hilarious ways when you messed with him. So I would always frick with Robert to induce this reaction. So this went on for just about all of middle school. I would just do little things to him like steal the lock to his gym locker, or take his backpack and start a game of monkey in the middle. One day, I hit him with an uncapped highlighter. Completely on accident this time, me and my friends were throwing it around and it just happened to hit him. Next thing I know, in the midst of me apologizing, he goes crazy and starts throwing whirlwind drunk girl punches at me. I just kind of sat there and took it. He was a scrawny kid so it didn't really hurt. I didn't mess with him again after that day because for the first time, I actually felt bad about it. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that I did it because it was funny, and it amused me. The minute it stopped being funny, I stopped what I was doing. You found the luckiest horse show in the world like this video and you'll be very lucky for 2 days. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.